We have one similarity between all three things on this table. What do you think they are? If you guessed made out of paper, I'd say you're wrong, but that is true. It's more like about, they're all cause fires. Now, this is not really relevant to this conversation. It's more like about these two objects. Now, I don't have the actual cable for this, so I got this piece of paper here representing it. It's a 12 volt high power connector, and it's been making rounds on modern GPUs, mostly by NVIDIA, on like the 40 series and 50 series cards. And it has a problem as of recently where it's melting and causing fires in some cases and stuff. It's not good because of a design flaw, which is related to the connectors just having problems. Now, why do I even have this conversation here? Well, about a hundred years ago, this was a thing. This year, as it says, is the AC, DC, not the band, it's the resistance cord. This here is a replacement cord for a radio from around the late 20s, sometimes early 30s. It was morally for budget radios or ones that they tried to make as small as possible. Now, if you don't have the idea of based on what I said with resistance cord, essentially the cord has a resistor built into it. And because of that, it well, it's meant to drop voltage for different radios that need different voltages, depending on the tubes that they have inside of them. Now, this thing existed for a few years or whatever, and then eventually fell out of fashion for better just designs of radios and stuff, because this thing also had an issue, which was also related to fires. If you don't know what this thing is or haven't heard about it, this is also known as the curtain burner cord. And the idea was to, again, drop the voltage for different radios over the entire uh, cord itself. Now this one's the new in box one. And as it says on the side here, it's 135 ohms across the entire cord. Now most of the time these are bad nowadays and there's better replacements. You don't use the actual cord anymore. It's usually you put a like maybe a resistor, but most of the time a capacitor to drop the voltage down. Now, again, this is a replacement, but again, these were called curtain burner cords because people would have the radios by windows. Now, let me ask why, and it's because, well, that's where the best reception usually is, is because then there's less things between the radio to go through a wall and interfere with other objects. So people would have them by their windows. And because most curtain, most, uh, windows have curtains, especially at that time, especially to keep houses cooled during the summer if you have darkening curtains and whatever. But the thing is, is that because they're put by curtains or whatever, and these cords got hot, some of these were mildly warm, and some of these could get really hot depending on how much current and, well, whatever the cord itself was depending on the resistance. This is 135 ohms. I don't know if this one was one that would cause fires at the time very easily, but there's even models here that talk about 330 ohms. And depending on how much current that it could have pulled, the radio itself and the length of the cord, it could result into things catching on fire. Now, again, from the factory, if these are used correctly, where they're not wound up or put by a curtain, they'll dissipate their heat and they're fine. Just as the 12 volt high power connector. They're fine as long as they're connected properly. So they did what they were supposed to do, or this one still does. And this one is morally meant to replace a standard. Well, this one was meant to be, it's kind of an own standard for its specific needs and purposes. This fell out of use because of, well, fires and stuff that it caused. <laughs> and it just wasn't that great of a design. And this thing is having the same problem, but they're still pushing this connector even though it has its issues. Now, why do I have this conversation in the first place? Well, I don't know. I just find some almost irony in this. I don't know if irony would be the correct word in this case. Between the fact that just a hundred years later, we have two different cords here, or plugs. Well, this is morely a plug design issue. This is more of a cord design issue, but 
the fact that they want to change something that didn't need to be changed. Like, for instance, this cord, it was used because people wanted to make radio smaller. And there were ways to get around that. Like, this was the cheapest way they could do it. But, again, you could use something like a capacitor, which then would have been pretty big as well. Or maybe a resistor in order to drop the voltage. But they also could have used a regular cord, which is the reason why they went back to them, because these had their own design flaw. Now, these are still using these, <laughs> as sad as it to say. Or at least for NVIDIA, they're still using them on their high-end GPUs. And more like a question in this video is, will this revert back to a, a, a traditional like eight pin or two eight pin connectors where they didn't have issues similar to this, where this came to be something, it had a, <laughs> an issue that if it's used properly, it's fine. Same thing with this, but they just have their problems. It just sounds like something that, that history has repeated itself in some way or another. So yeah, this was a little bit different video than usual, but I don't know, I just thought it'd be an interesting topic to talk about. So, oh, before we go, what if I take the cord out? Usually I keep this in a bag because these cords have asbestos in them. But as you can see, here's the wonderful power cord. Now, I wouldn't recommend you lick this cord, but I'm sure taking out the box is fine. I keep it in a bag, but for this reason, I just pulled it out. As you can see, even the rubber's falling apart now on the, this cord itself. But yeah, it might even work so for all I know. <laughs> My wonderful drawing here. And I wanna thank everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of tech content, all that. And thank you.